Jackie here with Enjoying Life's Journey. Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to share with you the books that I read for 2017 and a few of the books that I have picked for 2018. Now if you remember last year at the beginning of the year I did a video saying that I was going to challenge myself to read one book every single month of the year in one of the areas of our life so we can kind of try to improve it. So there was like personal development, um, you know, health and fitness, finances, um, you know, relationships, all types of, you know, those areas of your life. So I want to share with you, um, let me see if I can put them in the right order to share with you. Okay, so the first quarter of the year I read, so we started the year off with The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. This was great. Have I um, basically? It's all about having a good morning routine and kind of honing in on different areas of your life. Having a little bit of a fitness, having a little bit of a, you know, a meditation, having a you know a, a little routine in the morning before you get started with your day that helps you get your mind and your body and everything synced together and ready to go. I have not kept up with. All of the area, all of the areas. He basically calls them savers. So there's different things like silence, affirmations, visualization, um, exercise, and uh, reading, and like scripting, writing. Uh, so I don't necessarily keep up with all of them on a daily basis, but I do um, keep. There's quite a few that I do on a daily basis. So this is um, a good one. I may revisit, revisit it. Um, sometimes I think it might be hard to implement a lot of new habits, but I have implemented quite a few of the habits, so I think it, it's, it has helped definitely. So I like this one. It says, you know, transform your life before 8 a.m. Basically, it's just your first hour of the day. It gives you um, great insight on how to, to get yourself together for the first hour. The second month that I did last February, we did the 21-day um, total body transformation um, which is basically the primal blueprint and this one is one that I still um, live by I still follow a lot of the stuff in here um, I absolutely um, resonated with it I love the simplicity of um, the ideas of how to work out I loved um, the types of food I just the whole you know cutting out grains and stuff like that has made a huge impact on my on my life we, and then just, he also has tips in here on lifestyles of, you know, kind of living primally, of having um, no electronic days, having like family game time where it's not no electronics, having like a screen curfew where you turn off the TV and the computer and all that by a certain time, um, and just, you know, little things like that, um, having a stand-up workstation, all kinds of things like that to implement within the lifestyle. So it's not just about um, exercising or it's not just about you know your nutrition but it's a combination of those two in addition to some lifestyle type activities so really enjoyed this one and I'm still following it um, pretty closely the third book that I read um, last year was Dave Ramsey's Complete Guide to Money I had listened to the Total Money Makeover as an audiobook um, before and then I read this one and this one um, it says it's a handbook towards financial, his financial piece of university. So there's a lot of really great stuff in here. I'm actually going to be sharing um, more of his thoughts on this in separate videos. I've already shared one, which is about getting your affairs in order, about having a will and a living will and a power of attorney and, you know, your term life insurance and stuff like that. And then he also talks about, you know, going into the baby steps and how to implement them and everything like that. So a great book if you're trying to get your finances in order. The second quarter, I read, let's see which are my three books. The second quarter, I read um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, which I've shared with you guys. I absolutely love this book and I think it can go hand in hand for people who are even becoming a minimalist. Uh, it just, it goes over what areas of your house, like the order in which you should kind of, you know, declutter your house and ways to basically permanently declutter it. And the whole idea about it is basically you need to handle every single item and ask yourself, does it spark you joy? Um, and so it was just a good way to kind of get everything in order. And then I just, you know, 
keeping it in order. So I like a really good book. The second one for the second quarter was The Five Love Languages um, by Gary Chapman. And this one was an interesting read and it was, it's right, it's almost like right on there. You can think about every relationship you've ever had and you could almost say, yeah, you know what? This person was that, this person was that, I'm this. Um, you know, so if you're a different love language than your partner, um, it gives you really good tips on um, just ways to nurture them in the form that they respond to. So, you know, someone might respond to love and affection, you know, in different ways. They might, things that you do or say or don't do or say um, could affect them differently yourself. So it's just, it's a really, it's a fun way um, just to see what you and your significant other are and just give you guys, you know, some good tips on how to uh, nurture them, make them feel loved in the way that they, they feel loved. The third one I read for the second quarter was How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Um, this one I feel like is really good for people who are either planning to go into business if you're doing some type of customer service type thing um, where you're dealing with people or if you're actually, you know, if you're in a job where you deal with a lot of clients um, in general. So I think I would consider this kind of like a like area of improving your career of, you know, how to, um, so it's not necessarily like, oh, how do I get someone to like me to be my best friend? It's, it's more like strategic on how to communicate with people and work with people in, you know, a working or um, environment. But you can also apply the same principles to, you know, friends and family as well which so it was, a, it was a pretty good one. So the last four books that I have, I didn't, so I didn't get through a total of 12 books and I kind of read them like um, diff, at different times. So this, uh, this one was a tiny little book, it's called The Dip by Seth Godin and it's kind of a um, business type career thing as well um, or it's even like a mindset. Basically it's about, you know, anytime you are starting something new, anytime you're doing something new, um, there's going to be, you know, this time where it seems like everything is, you know, you're, it's so easy, you're learning all this stuff, and then you're going to come to maybe a, you know, a plateau, and then you might even come to a dip, you know, where you think things are getting worse, and so this kind of talks about, you know, not giving up on that, and knowing that it's just a dip, and that you're going to, you know, you can come out of it, or about, um, kind of looking at things ahead of time and deciding, okay, if this were to reach a dip, is this something that I can stick with, that I want to stick with, that I can be motivated enough to stick with to get out of the dip? And so it's kind of like, is something um, worth starting? Or if you're in the dip and you really are like, you know what, this just is, I'm not patient enough or this isn't for me anymore, whatever, giving yourself the grace to get out. So, um, you know, just, you know, a little basic knowledge there. Um, this other one um, I actually really like. It's the Seven Spiritual Laws for Parents by Deepak Chopra. So he gives you, he goes over the seven laws and he basically gives you, you have one law for each day of the week and he gives you tips on um, activities or discussions to have with your kids. But it's even great if you don't have kids, if you yourself just want to get into a more spiritual practice. So Seven Spiritual Laws for Parents, uh, guiding your children to success and fulfillment. So it's not just all, you know, spiritual or, this, but it's just, you know, it's got a lot of good stuff in here. So um, this one is one that I kind of refer back to often. Another great book, this is um, just kind of, I would almost think of personal growth. It could, it could go into almost any area of your life. It's The Seven Habits of Highly Affected People by Stephen Covey. And um, this is just a great read. We actually found a kid book um, at the library, so I actually had um, checked that out, and I was going through the seven habits um, with Arcadia, and it was written in such a cool way um, that I think I might go ahead and buy that book as well to have on hand, because it's just a cool way for you to, to teach these habits to your kids as well. Um, if you're not familiar with what some of these are, or you want to know more, like what are the seven spiritual laws, or what are the seven habits, um, leave me a comment. I can do a separate video on what they are. I just wanted to show you the books that I read this year. The last book that I read was Rich Dad's Guide to Investing. Now, I have read um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, 
um, way back when. I know, I think they had one other book between that one and this one that I did not read. Um, I just happened to pick this up. Um, I was selling, I was selling personal development books on Amazon. I still have books in my inventory. I'm still selling books, but I'm not adding anything to it anymore. And this just happened to be one that I found while I was shopping. Um, and it actually was a really good, a really good book. And again, this is, it, Rich Dad to Poor Dad, his whole um, series is about helping people transition from being like an employee or being self-employed and kind of crossing over into business ownership and investing. Um, so that's kind of, you know, if any of you are interested in that, this is all of his books are actually really good to read. So that's what I read in 2017. I've listened to a lot of different audiobooks as well um, and watched a lot of YouTube videos because that's what I like to do. Uh, but that's kind of, you know, what I, those are the ones that I bought and I had and I read and so now I still have them so I can refer back to them. This quarter, this year, I've already got my first three books. One of them I do not have on hand because I lent it to my friend Heather. So last year I focused on a little bit of each area, you know, where we had a little bit of relationships, a little bit of business, a little bit of finance, a little bit of your personal stuff. This year I'm focusing strictly on finance and business. Um, so for this first quarter, I've already read two books and I'm almost through the third book and it's only February. So I'm kind of ahead and I've already listened to two audiobooks that I was going to buy as a book and now I've already listened to them. So I'm just getting like a gun like running to fun in this year, like loving it. So first one I got is geared towards um, my new business, which is basically a group cruise travel specialist or a travel agent, however you want to say it. So the first one I got is kind of mostly related to that and it's um, Get Your Ship Together. It's the Wealthy Travel Agent's Guide to Sales. So I have read through that. I have marked it and all kinds of stuff um, so I can refer back to it when I feel I need to. The second book I read was called Profit First. And again, I gave that one to my friend Heather to read. And it's kind of, um, it's business finance. So it, he talks about what type of account, like how many accounts you should have and gives you um, some target percents to do. Kind of like if you guys know, I follow T. Harv Eggers. He actually wrote The Secrets to a Millionaire Mind. Um, and he talks about your personal finance having, you know, seven different accounts and he gives you percents that you should allocate to those accounts. So Profit First is very similar to that, but it takes it to your business. So basically tells you what are the five, you know, five to seven accounts you should have for your business and what percents should you do. So that was a great read. I gave that to my friend who owns her own business as well. Now the third book I have for this year is another Rich Dad, but it's Rich Dad Advisor and it's Tax Free Wealth. Um, so I'm about halfway through it. Um, again, this is gonna be, it's gonna be geared towards people who um, want to be entrepreneurs, who want to be business owners, or who want to invest, whether that's investing in real estate or, you know, whatever. So this is, um, it's a really good read for, for those who, um, I'm a nerd like that. <laughs> so not everyone can sit down and read a, a book about taxes. <laughs> um, but I don't know, it's they, I just learned so much and I've grown so much that I'm loving it. So some of the other books that I have in mind, what I did was I kind of, I found them all on Amazon, so I have them in my cart for to purchase later. So I will just purchase you know, three at a time when I'm ready. Um, so some of the other ones are The Millionaire Next Door, um, Secrets to a Millionaire, um, The Secrets to a Millionaire Mind. Um, I want to, even though I listened to the audio book on that one, I do want to purchase the book and read through the book. Um, so those are kind of some of like mindset, changing our mindset about money. Um, let's see. Uh, there was a few other that were just strictly related to travel, um, to doing group events, doing events at sea. So there was a, there was a book on that. There was a book on um, cruise in cruising in general, sales, stuff like that. So um, those two are just related to the industry that I'm focusing on. I wanted to get some more of the Dave Ramsey books. I was originally going to get the Legacy Journey, but I listened to the audiobook, so I'm already done with that. So then I was going to get the Smart Money Smart Kids, the one, the book that he wrote with his daughter, Rachel Cruz, 
and now I have listened to that whole audiobook. So those were two other books that I was going to get that I listened to, so I don't know if I'll end up getting them as well. Um, one other book that I want to get is called, um, it's Book Yourself Solid or How to Book Yourself Solid, something like that. Um, so I want to do that. And then there was another one, I think it's 22 Infutable Laws of Marketing. Um, so you kind of see the pattern here, kind of um, business, sales, marketing, finance, um, you know, the mindset of that. So those are kind of some of the books that I have planned for this year. I will probably share another video with you, um, you know, once I have the other books, I can share those with you. If you want to know any more, like I said, if you want to know any more details about some of the books that I've read, let me know and I'll try to do a separate video on them. I have done a separate video on a few of these books, so I will leave it in the description box if you guys want to watch it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have a book list for this year. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.